Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. It's your brother Yaakov, Woodrow, James even, whichever one you prefer. They all my names. Answer to them all. Here this week to talk to y'all. <clears throat> Sorry, it's a little later than I usually come to y'all. I think I've done something on this day before. But try to do them like right at the Sabbath. Put them up right at the Sabbath, but... The circumstances did not permit that to happen this week, but we are here, and let's get it. This one is called, I am as a wonder to many, but thou art my strong refuge. A lot of people don't understand, like the shirt say, misunderstood, but as long as the Most High understands, as long as the Most High approves, that's all we need for real. For real, for real. Let's get into these scriptures. Psalm 71 and 7. I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. Like we just said. Good news translation. My life has become an example to many because you have been my strong defender. And that's the reason for celebration. And the uh, wonder unto many part is sometimes feel good, sometimes it don't feel no too good, but the end part, you have been my strong defender or my strong refuge. I also like the way that the contemporary English Bible puts it. It says, many people think of me as something evil, but you are my mighty protector. Many people think of me as something stupid. Many people do think something evil. Like, why wouldn't you just do what we want you to do? Come on now, why you being difficult? Why you gotta be like that? Are you being bitter? Are you being, um, what's the word that we used recently in the, um, under the little clip, interview clip that I did with a buddy of mine, little podcast, um, being, um, what's it called? Insecure. All the things that they want to say, but it's anything but to give credence to the fact of the matter, what it really is. I left that situation. And if you know me outside of here, you know who I am, except for, instead of, I mean, outside of the person that come before you now, which is who I am now, which is the most important, to, to read scriptures and give praise to the most high. You know what I used to do before this thing, you know what I'm talking about. There's no need for me to go into detail. What they say, these young people now say, if you know, you know. If you don't. Hopefully and prayerfully these scriptures will find some way to benefit you anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it says, contemporary English version, one more time, that's Psalm 71 and 7. Many people think of me as something evil, but you are my mighty protector. Let's look at the Hebrew word that's used to translate it as evil here in this verse. It's the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, number 41 59 or 4,159 Mopheth it means a miracle a sign wonder that or Mopeth or Mopheth from Yaffa in the sense of conspicuousness a miracle by implication a token or omen miracle sign wonder that the word the root word Yaffa um, Strong's 3302, 3302. Be beautiful, be fair, or deck. Like decked out. Makes me think of this passage. Ezekiel 33, verses 30 through 33. Verse 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses. And speak one another to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. He's saying this sarcastically. Verse 31. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. This is one of my favorite um, verses right here. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. Or their own gain. That's real right there. Verse 32. And lo, thou art to them as a very lovely song, as one that hath a pleasant voice, 
and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. Like you ever tell somebody something or give somebody some advice or some counsel and you know what you're talking about and they come to you and they listen to you like, oh my goodness, that is so good, yo. Oh my goodness, that is so true. You is so right. But then they still go and do the exact opposite or else they go to somebody else to tell them the exact opposite and they say, oh my goodness, you is so right, yo. Oh my goodness, that is so true. So essentially you just waste your time telling them whatever you are gonna tell them because they gonna do what they gonna do anyway. But that's human nature. You can't really do nothing about that. And like the scriptures say, another part of Ezekiel, as long as you tell them, blow the trumpet, the blood is off your hands. You did what you were supposed to do because no human being can control another human being. Not even our parents. Like They can punish us and ground us when we don't do what they tell us to do. They can even beat our little behinds. That's what used to go down in the days when I was coming up, but some people would still do it. Some people would be like, I take the whipping because I want to do X, Y, Z that bad, <laughs> you know? So you really can't control nobody. All you can do essentially is tell them and warn them. And once you warn them, like the scripture said, the blood is off of your hands. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You did your part, you know? That she with somebody 24-7 and even with you with them 24-7. Some people break away. You ever see a, a baby break away from their parents in the mall? Ever seen a dog break away from the owner and run around and frolic and do whatever they wanted to do? Trust and believe it happens. So all we can do is warn them. Back to these verses. Verse 32. And lo, thou art to them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they would do them not. Verse 33. Part I like. And when the time, when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. So sometimes you might got a prophet before you or among you. And you busy trying to make him a singer. <laughs> you got a prophet before you. You keep trying to push him back to what he used to be. Like King David. King David was first a shepherd boy. Then he became a warrior when he slew Goliath. And then he became a king. So, who knows, people might have come up to him like, I sure, I'm glad you're the king. I'm glad you're a warrior, but I sure do miss when you used to be, be a shepherd boy. I sure like the way how you used to wash them sheep. <laughs> you feel me? You gotta realize, we all gotta realize that people go through stages in life and people don't always remain the same. So because you met them one way, don't mean that's always the way that they gonna be, you know? And a lot of us got to tell people that keep trying to put us in a box or put us back where they first found us at and stuff like that. Got to get rid of people like that. Or just got to get rid of them, but get from around them. And get them from around you. Get them out your circle, man, because they not doing nothing but holding you back. You know, you don't know what your destiny, what the most I might have destined for you to be, but people just get stuck in one version of you and try to keep you there forever and ever and ever. Regardless of how you feel about it, we know this is killing you, but we like to see it. We like to hear it. So for us, you got to do this. What my mama used to say, and I used to, used to shock me every time she said it, because my mama was the sweetest lady I've ever met in all of my years. But she used to tell me, I'm like, oh, ma, you got to do X, Y, Z. My mama said, I ain't got to do nothing but stay black and die. And I said, I ain't got to do nothing. But the will of the most high. Everything else, man, you might like that. I don't mean I got to do it. Because at the end of the day, when we stand before him at that some last day, he ain't going to ask me about it. none of y'all. He going to ask me why didn't I do what he's destined for me to do. And that's what I'm concerned about. This is Psalm chapter 38, verses 19 and 20. But my enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. I mean, I did a little briefing with a brother on YouTube. It was like a um, little update. He asked me to get online with him and do. And the comments that people was putting on me for that thing that had nothing to do with what we were talking about, but just mad at me because they want to see me do one thing. And the most I told me to do something else. That's the bottom line. I could be poetic. I could be 
give this reason, that reason, the third reason, but at the end of the day, the real reason, the most high called me out of what I used to do and sent me on a different path. So if y'all don't like that, take that up with the most high. I'm tired of talking about it. And I won't talk about it no more after this here. You feel me? Sorry to anybody. Whatever, but yeah. I'm not sorry. For real. Because <laughs> I'm happy. I don't have no reason to be sorry. But yeah, man. People just be tripping. Because they don't understand something more. Because it's not what they want to do. But what it say spiritual... Um, Things cannot be understood by a carnal mind. So unless somebody's got their spiritual eyes and ears on or open, I could talk all day and it still won't make no sense. Because at the end of the day, in plain English, people only hear what they want to hear. You could tell them every fact in the book and they will still come up with an explanation that suits them. Just like it say right here in Sirach. A sinful man will not be reproved, but find up an excuse according to his will. Common English version says, sinful people, and that could be all of us because King Solomon said there's not a man walking the earth that doeth always what is good and sin is not. But it says, sinful people turn away from correction. <clears throat> they will look for a judgment that suits them. And I'm saying they will twist your words, etc. to come up with something that makes sense to them. You can give them all the facts in black and white. And they'll turn right back around and be like, oh, okay, I got you. And then turn right back around and say something just ridiculous that they took and made up that makes sense to them for real. You know, this is Psalms 38 verses 19 and 20. But my enemies are lively and they are strong, especially behind keyboards. They are real strong. They say all types of all manners of craziness and type of all manners of craziness. And they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also who render evil for good. They are my adversaries because I follow what is good. Because I'm trying to do good. This is New Limit Translation. I have many aggressive enemies. They hate me without reason. There's no good reason. I ain't do nothing to nobody. All I do is mind my business for real. Verse 20, they repay me evil for good and oppose me for pursuing good. They mad at me for trying to do good. Contemporary English version. Many dearly and powerful enemies hate me and they repay me evil for good because I tried to do right. Real rap. That's the reason for and no knock I'm grateful for every last person that turns in for real, for real. But the reason even that I'm shadow banned on here I won't go into great detail, but those who know, know. You are Yah. They know what time it is. You know. But you are Yah Elohim, the Lord God, verse 21. Stay nearby. Please stay nearby me, most High, because I need it. And don't desert me. You are the one who saves me. Please hurry and help. Please hurry and help. Because that's my prayer for real. Because at this point, that other stuff is just getting old. For real, for real. But as we know, his timing, not mine. Such is the life of one who tries to live godly. So sad. This would say right in Timothy, 2 Timothy 3.12. Yea, and all that will desire to live godly will suffer persecution. Sirach. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 1 My son if you come to serve Yah prepare thy soul for temptation Good news translation My child if you are going to serve Yah be prepared for times where you will be put to the test So basically I know what I signed up for So let me quit whining and keep pushing forward and be like verse 2 says verse 5 says for gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And if he told us to test our friends before crediting them, that happens in Sirach chapter 6 verse 6, then he has the right to test us as well before he call us his friends like he called Abraham his friend. 
We want to be his friend. We got to be put to the test, too. Just like we supposed to put people to the test before we call them our friends and not be hasty to credit them. So, with that being said, thank y'all for letting me vent to y'all. <laughs> but, in talking to y'all, I'm ministering with this. That's all I say. Um, encourage yourself. When I minister to you, I minister to myself. So, I needed this. If nobody else did, thank y'all for listening. It says, I pray... You know what I'm saying? When it's all over, said and done, that I'm found worthy to be his friend. And much love to all the real ones, especially the ones who, you know, come and turn in every week and hear what I had to say and show love and like and, and talk to me in the comments and stuff like that. And even if you don't, man, I just hope you hear something that'll be a blessing to you. Shout out to my brother, Martin Messenger. Shout out to my brother, Kingdom's Path 144. My brother Johanna 82, my brother The Shadows, you know, everybody who continuously shows real genuine love. Much love, Yabba Root, and Most High Willing. We'll see each other again real soon. Love y'all. Shalom.